game, so I wonder what happened here. Like, that's just for me. I like Pollard. He's a talented running back. I like him a lot. I believe he came back entirely too early. Because you got to think about it. He broke his leg in uh, in January. And by February, and by September, we had him taking running back one reps to start the season. And he's he's in an entirely different role. When he had Ezekiel Elliott, he was to change the pace back. Right? He, he didn't have to pace himself or anything. He didn't have to worry about uh, – no uh, pass blocking or anything else like that. Like he was just a home run hitter in the offense, change the pace back. And he did good in that role, but you know, he's in a different role. We pretty much asked him to do more when he was uh, slightly diminished. And I think that came back to the biters as well. And we really didn't have an, another complimentary back for Tony Pollard. We went into the season hoping that Rico Dow could do it. Rico Dow dealt with an ankle injury damn near for two months. Right. So, he can't stay healthy. Tony Pollard coming off of an injury. Uh, they weren't very uh, happy with the production that they got from Deuce Vaughn. So the Dallas Cowboy run game was damn near uh, non-existent. Like, it was pretty much Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb or Buss, and that's why they ended up having the numbers that they had. Like, people forget, we Dak Prescott ended up leading the league in passing touchdowns and sitting out two games worth of fourth quarters. Like he, we had to throw the ball early and often a lot just because we were pretty much a one dimensional offense. So it worked out. You know, they ended up making all pro selections. We won 12 games, but in the playoffs, look at the teams that, 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 that are left standing. Every team that's left in the playoffs can run the football and stop the run, and the Dallas Cowboys cannot do either. Yeah.